Want to watch me turn on a light bulb? Light goes on. Off. On. Bet you've never done that before. I turned on this power supply. I increased the voltage. And the light bulb doesn't turn on. Well, why is that? Well, I have too much resistance in my circuit. So this resistor is preventing enough current from being drawn to turn the light bulb on. Ohm's law says that the current in the circuit can be found by taking the voltage supplied across the circuit divided by the resistance in this circuit. I could change the resistance by changing out the resistor, but I don't really want to do that. So how do I do that? By messing with the resistor itself. Resistance is a temperature dependent property. So when I stick it in the liquid nitrogen, we should see the resistance drop and the light bulb turns on. Do you see that? The light bulb turned on. I bring it out of the liquid nitrogen. It starts to heat up again. The resistance increases and the current drops. We can actually measure the resistance of this resistor and show that it is changing while it's in the LN2. So right now we're measuring at about 67 ohms. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the LN2 and I'm gonna cool it down. And so what we should see is that it drops rather quickly, but it is because of this drop in resistance that we saw the current increase in the circuit and the light bulb turn on. So it looks like we're stabilizing at around 19 ohms. Now as I pull it back out, it's gonna start to warm up again. So as it warms back up, the resistance is gonna increase again, but it should reach back to the same resistance it had at the start, 68, 69 ohms. Ohm's law is cool, not really, it's hot.